One of the most popular Saturday night destinations in North Texas tonight is also the site of a major protest. People are gathering in Deep Ellum after a brutal assault on a woman was caught on camera. Civil rights activists want the attack at Elm and Crowdis Streets prosecuted as a hate crime. J.D. Miles is near there tonight. It happened for a reason. Everybody even, bro. Yeah, the protesters got here just a few minutes ago. You can see them behind me. They've got signs. They're chanting, upgrade the charges. The up organizer of this protest estimated several hundred would join based on the number of people who signed up on a Facebook page, but we've only seen about two or three dozen here so far. Um, they have gathered in the parking lot where the assault caught on video two days ago has simply set off a firestorm. Dallas police have sealed off Elm Street between Crowdis and Malcolm X here in Deep Ellis. Some bar and club owners are gathered around watching as these protesters try to send a message that they won't tolerate the misdemeanor charges currently filed against the man at the center of this assault. The high and tight barber shop and bar closed Saturday on what normally would be a busy weekend night. It may have been to avoid any more unwanted attention after its former bartender was recorded on video beating a woman over the way she parked. He absolutely took the aggression way too far. Sarah Rhodes has seen the video from Thursday morning, like a lot of club and bar patrons who came to Deep Ellum tonight, despite plans for a protest by a civil rights group that threatens to shut down the entertainment district. I didn't actually know that it was going on. I'm not surprised. Traffic down here is already bad enough to start with, but something like that is going to clog it up even worse. So we probably won't stay past then. Protesters want Austin Shuffield, the bartender arrested for the assault, charged with a hate crime. Meanwhile, the local activist who organized the protest says the woman on the video is still struggling with her injuries. She had to go back into the hospital about um, some of the injuries that she was going through. Um, I believe um, she was getting some sharp pains. Even though the bartender displayed a handgun before hitting the woman, he was not charged for threatening her with a firearm. The Dallas Police Department finally responded to that question and others with a statement, calling the video deeply disturbing and defending the misdemeanor assault charge by saying, quote, this is still an ongoing investigation and it is imperative that we are thorough and deliberate. It's a history pattern with Dallas Police Department dragging their foot. The protest is expected to last about an hour and a half. We're told the protesters will set up a sound system out here. They will uh, speak for a few minutes and then they will march from here all the way down Elm Street and back with police, of course, watching nearby. Uh, we will keep you updated and we'll come back to you depending on the developments out here. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.